Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. I am so excited to get into this because I redid the entire house and I'm so excited for you guys to see. Big shout out to everyone who came to the stream to help me build it as well. I am very, very happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's very, it suits Zoe. This house was kind of built for Zoe like for her in the future because I plan on kind of like cleaning out the house so the house is just kind of like tailored to her and um, since we have all those potion of plentiful needs as well a lot of the sims don't even really need to sleep or do anything like that so I wasn't really that concerned about like the bedroom situation I'm still very excited to show you guys I'm excited to get into this I am just like dying to see what happens with this family so yeah I'm tired. I need my Celsius. I have a Fuji Apple Pear Celsius today. Um, when this is going up, it's going to be a Monday. So I hope that you guys have a lovely week. I hope it goes smoothly. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers to this video. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, here we are in the legacy house. As you can see, the, the main building is a lot different than it used to be. So we went for a more modern theme. The other house was a lot more traditional, so we just decided to switch it up. Um, I'm going to change all of these other buildings on the lot as well because I want them to match, but I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. I just wanted to focus on this main house at first. So, <laughs> of course it's winter and it doesn't really give you like, I don't know, a good view of it, I guess, but here is what we've done so far. I still need to add some landscaping around. I'm still debating if I want to redo all the landscaping on the lot as well or not. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have something new to show you guys every single time I film one of these videos because I'm just going to be building like a little bit here and there. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> All right, let's head in. So we have the living room here. It looks like Bruce is about to light the fireplace. Thank you so much. <laughs> looks great he doesn't look so good though so we've got the fireplace and the, the living room we've had we have this like little enclosed area for all that stuff we've got some pictures up here zara and olive over here we have the um music station it's a little record player isn't that so cute it's cc i don't remember who the creator is but ugh, i don't know it's just adorable and then we've got some records up here uh, we have the little office area in the corner here and heading over here we have, oh my god, <laughs> we have, I don't know where the ceiling went but it's there. We have the yoga slash indoor garden room. This was going to be an indoor garden but we kind of decided since we have so many plants outside already that maybe just like a little yoga room would do because we know that Stella is really into yoga and maybe Zoe can get into it too. So there's that. And then coming down here, we have Charlie's Starlight Accolade. <laughs> Zoe's very into plants. There's going to be plants everywhere in this build. So yeah, they're like everywhere. Here's Max's stereo with some more family photos and some art. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Here's the kitchen, which has a ton of plants on the windowsill. Um, I don't know. It's just it's very girly, but I feel like it suits Zoe a lot. I use the new oven from the the designer pack and yeah i don't know i just i'm i'm vibing this kitchen a lot outside there isn't really much yet because i barely worked on it but we've got a pool we've got some loungers we've got a kiddie pool uh it looks like this fountain might be too big for it but um yeah there's the kiddie pool and then it's a one-story home by the way i just wanted to keep it kind of small uh, over here down the hallway, we have some more photos. I'm gonna put some more up. I just kind of threw them up just to have something there. <laughs> Through here, we have the little baby's room. So this is gonna be Marnie and Ophelia's room. Oh shoot, they're toddlers and those are kid beds. Oopsie, I wonder when they're aging up. Hopefully that'll be okay. <laughs> Hi, she's like, that bed's too big for me. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then through here we have the master bedroom, which still needs a little bit of work too. It's a little plain. I just moved some of the stuff from Zoe's like guest house into here. But I really like this accent wall and yeah, I just want to add some more stuff on this wall obviously because it's so blank. And then through here we have the master bathroom, which is very spa-like. I want this bathroom so bad in real life, but like... I don't know. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love making these like <laughs> DIY walk-in showers as well. Uh, okay, so let's head up to the roof then because there is a lot of stuff up there. 
so there's just a ladder that come that brings you up here from the downstairs patio so that's down there and you climb the ladder and you come up here we did like a which it also needs a little bit of work but <laughs> i know it's a little plain but um we have a outdoor theater with a little fireplace with the new sectionals from the new pack i want to load this area up with plants and things like that oh my god look at that view holy cow whoa beautiful <laughs> okay and then uh the, i put the projector screen and then over here we have oh no i hate it when it does that we have an outdoor bar slash kitchen which looks like it's too bright so i'm gonna have to dim the lights a little bit but ren's taking full advantage of the new fancy bar of course <laughs> we have a uh, ice cream and popcorn machine out here we've got like a mini fridge i love this little um burger light too um, I wonder what she's making. But we have like a full on outdoor kitchen out here, which is pretty dope. And then in here, I decided, or we decided actually to put a sauna. Uh, Juice is Ren's middle name when Juice Compost to be exact. Ren Juice Compost. <laughs> Should she own up to this talent um, that she likes mixology? Yeah, heck yeah, absolutely, definitely. Uh, okay, so we have just like, oh shoot, that needs wallpaper. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I thought this build was put together, but apparently it's not. Uh, we just have the sauna in here, which I kind of want to fill with plants too. I think that would be funny. And then in here we have like a couple of showers and a toilet. Uh, so yeah, that's really all that I did. I hope that you guys like it. What are you doing, Charlie? Charles, what you what you doing? You're lighting the bonfire? Are you just going to light it and then walk away? Or what's the deal? What are you doing? They're just like taking full advantage of this outdoor kitchen, even though it's snowing outside. My Sims are so strange, but okay, you do you. Like Stella, what are you, what are you making? A cake, okay. She's making a cake up here, all right, fair. Okay, so let me give you guys a little uh, update about what we did or what's been going on in this legacy house. So, in the last one, I'm pretty sure that we were going to move out Bruce in the beginning of this episode. Um, Bruce and Leslie, we're going to move them out together, but I kind of wanted to max Leslie's um, video gaming skill before we moved her out, and she's almost there. So why don't you get to work on that a little bit? Oh, shoot. There's no video gaming thing in here. Hold on. Is there one in the here? Okay, yeah, there is. Oh, that needs to be replaced. Okay, I'm going to get her to play... Play Genie's Curse, okay? All right. So once she maxes the video gaming skill, we will move her and Bruce out together. Probably in, like, Del Sol Valley. Um, she got the Jungle Explorer aspiration when she aged up. I thought that was interesting. Like, maybe she got influenced by... Um, Alice, so maybe one day her and Alice can live together. Charlie has... He has a little bit of time left. I'm kind of thinking that he might go in this episode. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of a big bummer. Oh crap, he's hysterical. Yo! Yo! Come calm yourself down, because I'm not trying to have you die in this episode, not from old age. <laughs> Stella, on the other hand, has eight days until she's an elder. Okay. And then I'm gonna look at the calendar actually. See what we got. So tomorrow is Marnie and the toddlers, Bailey and Bellamy, their birthday. There is so much to do, so much to remember, so much going on. I apologize if I'm a little frazzled. It's just it's just there's just a lot. <laughs> Okay, and then after that, we have Egg Day, and then after that, we have Bruce's birthday, and then we have um, Ophelia's birthday. Okay, so they're only going to be toddlers for a couple more days, which is pretty cool. Um, today is New Year's Eve, so I'm thinking maybe we should... Maybe we should go out with Zoe and try and just, like, socialize with her, because I do want to start focusing on her a little bit. Um... 
Yeah, Leslie is still a teen. Bruce is, is he a young adult? He's still a teen too. Okay, okay, that's cool. So yeah, we'll just go out with Zoe. Everyone else can stay home and take care of the kids. And what else? What else, what else do I want to do? New skill day is tomorrow and I really wanna take advantage of that too. Yeah, you guys, that that is what's going on. And let me see, let me see here. Zoe's relationships. It seems as though yeah, her relationship with Paul is going down a lot. Where's R Rungi again? Where is that man at? Ah, uh, here he is. Hmm. Hmm. They don't have any romance at all. Okay, were we working on any skills for Stella? She might max cooking and parenting. Hopefully we can max those before we move her out because someone suggested, which I think is kind of a good idea. I don't know if I said this in the last episode or not, but... Um, someone suggested that when Charles dies that we move Stella out with all the rest of the kids and just start focusing on Zoe. I think I did mention this in the last episode, but I kind of like that idea. We can move in Stella and the kids like right next door, give them keys so that we'll see them all the time. But yeah, I kind of, you know, just want to start focusing on the next heir because that's like the main part. That's the main thing of this challenge. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll be moving out. Stella with Marnie, Ophelia, Bailey, and Bellamy, and um, Bruce and Leslie are going to be moving out together, and so all we'll be left with is Stella Ren and Ren. Not Stella and Ren, Zoe and Ren. Oh my god, I'm, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the family tree as well, just because we haven't done that in a while. So, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, how crazy. Look at all these dead sims. Sheesh. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah, and we need to adopt the last kid today. <gasps> oh my gosh, Felix is, um, Felix's kids aged up. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this family tree, I'll tell you what. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What do we wanna do, what do we wanna do? Ren, what, uh, what skill were you working on, love? Painting, oh shoot, did I delete your easel? I think I did, let me grab it. I'll put it in your house so that you could spend some like more time in there because you never do. Oh, there are some toddler beds in here. Okay, okay. Well, if they need to sleep, they can sleep there. All right, so first order of business is adopt the last baby for the kids in the 10 generations. Uh, why can't we? Household is already at maximum size. I'm sorry. What? Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to move Bruce out faster than I thought. Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thank you, Kyla. I appreciate you. All right, let me just see what's in his inventory if we need to keep anything in there. He's got a tablet for some reason, which I wanna keep here. Um, he's got an excellence bunny, which I'll let him keep. He's got some school projects, um, some eggs. I wonder, do we, oh, Leslie got the sedent sedentary lifestyle. Does that mean she just like sits around all day? And the indoors lifestyle and the techie lifestyle. Huh, all right then. Let's see, it looks like we do have this egg, so I'm gonna sell it. Do we have this orange striped one? We don't, cool, okay, awesome. Let's sell that, sell this, sell this, okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and move out Bruce. I am very excited to see what he will do with his life. Mom, can you cook me something? I miss home cooked food. <laughs> Aww. I mean, at, do you guys even have a kitchen in your dorm? I mean, I guess we can go find out. Hold on, I'll put the, the Bruce thing on, on hold for a second. That was a, that was a cute text. I miss home cooked food. <laughs> I can't believe she's still in uni. Like, what the heck? Is she just failing all her classes so she's never gonna graduate or what? I don't even know what's going on with that. All right, love, let's see. Hi, sweet bean. It's so good to see you. Let's just inspire her a little bit. Um, oh yeah, we need to find another gig for Ren as well. I wish we could ask her like, how's it going? How are your grades? Oh, she's tooting cause it's freaking New Year's. Yeah, there's no kitchen in here. Like, you want me to make you homemade food when there's no kitchen? I, 
I, I I'm confused. I am so confused. All right. Well, I'm gonna just leave them to it. I'm gonna let them bond a little bit. Um, let's switch control to Stella. Um, okay, whatever. They're hanging out. It's fine. I just wanted to see Alice for a bit. I'm gonna have to like write out or build some kind of map or like game plan for all of my sims. I think it would make sense for, cause I did want to move Alice to Selva Dorada as soon as she graduated. So like she could graduate and Leslie could move in with her. Bruce can live his best life in Del Sol Valley. Um, Luna is still in San Myshuno with her roommates just writing a bunch. I wonder how that's going. I hope she's doing good. What else do we need to do? Uh, Felix is having babies, which is cool. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move out Bruce then into Del Sol Valley so that we can adopt the last kid. Okay, create new household. Bruce will give him... Well, I don't know. Let's just give him 50,000. I don't remember how much we gave Luna, but that's fine. Okay, 50,000. Why? Why not? No. Oh, that's right. Okay, hmm, since I have a cheat that's expanding my household size, it's not letting me do this. I remember I tried to do it in the last one and it wouldn't let me. So, how will I do this? I'm probably gonna have to do it with cheats, like just do shift click and remove from family. Uh, I also really wanna check up on Kieran. It's been so long since we've seen him or just like seen what he's up to. I don't even know how old he is at this point. Also, Stella has that spellcasting club. Not Stella. Oh my god, I keep calling Zoe Stella. Zoe has that spellcasting club that I made ages ago but still haven't used. I really want to, like, get her to start using that again, too. Um, there's so many things that I want to do, you guys! Okay, so, Charlie came to swing with him. That's so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it with cheats then, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. So, shift-click, remove from family. Oh my god, okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. It's school spirit day, apparently and they wanted to tell me a million times hold on stop stop right there i need you can you please come over here and give him a residence key because i do want him to still come around so let's go ahead and do that goodbye son don't forget to visit us good luck in del sol valley aka hollywood i know that you're gonna make it i know you're gonna do great you're gonna do big things son just don't let that lazy trait get the best of you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later, Brucey Bruce. You you do good things, okay? All right, next up. I wonder if it's going to let me adopt. I hope so. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get Charlie to... Let's see here. Where is it again? Hire a service? Hire a service. Okay, I'm going to get Charlie to adopt the bean. Oh, I forgot it's New Year's Eve. I was like, why do they have cocktails? No, don't have a cocktail before you go adopt a baby. No. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. It's working. Adopt child. Let's go. Let's get this baby. Now, it has to be a baby. Or does it have to be a toddler? Let's just get it as a baby just in case. I don't really feel like... <laughs> I don't really feel like looking up the rules. So we got Na Natalie, Rocio, Joffrey, Jeffrey, and Garrett. Uh, I literally can't tell if this is a boy or a girl. I kind of like that though. Because knowing me, I'm, it's going to take me a million years to pick. So let's go with Rocio? Rocho? Rocio? I don't know. But that's the one. That is the one. Okay. Let's go, Charlie. Let's adopt this baby. Uh oh, you're about to pee your pants. It's fine, though. It's fine. You're good. Eee! I'm nervous. I'm so, so, so nervous. I have no idea what we just got ourselves into, but I'm excited to welcome a new child into the family. Um. Anyway. <laughs> so the babies are over here in the guest house. It looks like Stella is attempting to take care of them, but she's not doing very well. So why don't you change the diaper? Change the diaper, babe. Change that diapy. And uh, how's your schooling going? Class in a couple of days. Okay. Three more days left in the term. Fantastic. Oh my god, Zoe is parenting level five. How did that happen? All of her brother and sisters, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Um, Leslie, I need you to work on your video gaming. 
Charlie Couples is bringing home a new family member. Oh my God, why am I nervous? <gasps> okay. Do we want to keep this name? How do you even pronounce this? Rocio. Rocio. Rocio, okay. Rocio. Rocio? Rocio? Oh my gosh. I kind of like it. It's it's different, but let me double check my my list of names here because I know that I had some. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl though, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it. I'm just gonna keep it. Um uh oh, Charlie is peeing his pants. Shoot, there's too much going on. Hang on, play party frenzy, Charlie. No! Uh, where's the baby? Oh god, he's oh god, in front of all these people. Sheesh, Charlie, I'm gonna need you to take care of yourself, my dude. Come and have a shower. Okay, where's the new baby? Rocio, hello, baby. Hi. Still don't know if you're a boy or a girl, so I'm just gonna call you baby for now. Baby for now. Here, I'll put you with all the other babies. Oh, I can't believe we have this many babies. Holy canole. Uh, all right. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, Stella, why don't you come say hello to your new bean? Uh, who is very hungry. She's excited. She's ex Oh, Ren came to say hello to Hey baby. Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for them to age up. Cuz them being this way now, it's I mean, it's exciting but not really. <laughs> All right, it's almost time to go out for New Year's and we're just gonna go out with Zoe. Do you wanna go out on a date to the spa? That's actually kind of cute, but pass. You only hit us up when you want woohoos, so. It's almost Marnie's birthday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and go into Cass. I'm gonna give her a little uh, New Year's outfit. Oh, this is pretty. It's very New Year's-y as well. That's an option. She is so tall and so slender. Like, oh yeah, she's she's pretty curvy up top, but she kind of has like a model body a little bit. This is kind of cool. I like the moons. Should we do this? It's a little cold, but you know what? She's gonna be indoors, so I think she'll be okay. Okay, guys, this is our New Year's vibe for this year. I'm excited to see what she gets up to. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, she meets someone that she likes. That would be really nice. I just freaking realized, you guys, we did it. We did it. We got the 10 kids in one generation. <gasps> Thank goodness. Thank goodness all that work was, wasn't was for nothing because that would have been really disappointing that I would have had to do it all over again. I just wish I would have known that we were going to be doing that earlier in the generation because then it definitely wouldn't have been as hard. <laughs> but hey, we're good. It's all good. Hey, Charlie, can you do me a favor? Can you come over here and repair this for our little bean over here who's very upset about it? Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Stella and Zoe are just standing here waiting for one of them to stop stop crying. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Aww. Hello. Charles. I keep catching him playing with the toddlers. Oh my god, Ren just finished painting a masterpiece? Well, good for you. I didn't even know you were working on your painting skill right now. Who's this? Um, excuse you. Get off of our lot. Why are you just here harvesting our plants? Get out of here. That is extremely rude. Please don't tell me people are doing it out here too. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Oh my God, okay. It looks like Zoe just leveled up in her magic and she's got three talent points to spend. Let's go. Okay, extra servings will be in the cauldron. Oh heck yeah, that'll definitely come in handy. Uh, what else do we wanna do? What else? Magical discounts, natural mentor. Hmm. What's this? Moat hound. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this one and la 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 la. Which one? Which one? Which one? This one. Sure. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. So bottle up those. Let's go ahead and drink one, and we will go out tonight. So many birthdays coming up too. Okay. 
All right, let's go. Let's go out and celebrate New Year's Eve. I don't know where though. Did I, have I placed anything? Is there anything in Sam Myshuno that we can go to? Maybe we can invite Luna out with us so that we can see her. Wow, that's crazy. I worked on this save file for a while and I guess I didn't place any nightclubs. What the heck is wrong with me? Nightclubs are essential. <laughs> We always go to this brimstone remodel, so I was trying to find somewhere different that we could go, but... You know, this might be the only place. Unless we just go to the rooftop bar and send my Shuno. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see. Who do we want to invite with us? Let's go ahead and invite... Oh my gosh, I forgot about this girl. Luna, let's invite Elizabeth. She's in our spellcaster club, so I'm interested to see what's up with her. Let's invite Kieran. I think he might be a young adult now. Let's invite... Let's invite Luna's roommate. Mm, Rangi. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce it. Reagan. Um, let's invite Felix. Let's invite Felix and his wife. Where's she at? Oh, shoot, I can't. Okay, no pro no worries, no worries, no worries. All right, that's enough people anyway. We're good. Is Zoe a young adult or is she an adult? We gave her a potion of youth as a young... That's right, she's a young adult. Okay. All right, hi, everybody. Happy freaking New Year. We probably should have picked an indoor venue. I didn't even think about it. It's fine. She's just gonna have to suck it up. <laughs> Hi, Kieran! Uh, Express Hello. joy of life. Hello! Yeah. Hi, I love your mask. Oh, she's pregnant! Ooh, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Hi! Oh my god, I missed him. Describe new idea. How's your life? How's it going? Ugh, missed him so much. Uh, here we have... Rangi. I'm just gonna call him R. Oh, the clock tails love to see it. Wait, wait, wait. What's his last name? RM. RM. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. She changed back into her cold weather outfit. I guess I don't blame her. Hmm. Uh, okay. I don't want to be here. It seems very dull and very cold. So let's just go back to the nightclub that we always go to where prom was. And we're bringing everybody. <laughs> At least it's indoor and she can wear her cute outfit, you know? And I don't mind that nightclub. I think it's a good build. Hey. Oh. Uh -huh. Let's go. Hi, everybody. Okay. Hello, everybody. Again, we kind of all just like transferred ourselves <laughs> okay let's order our favorite drink i don't remember what zoe's favorite drink is but we're about to find out dude she's like a she's like a stick who's this sam pacheco hello sam pacheco i really like your hair let's introduce ourselves oh who's this lamar hart pause why are you naked i want to see you in your outfit hold on do you have any outfits you do who are you i'm i'm intrigued i'm intrigued let's do a polite introduction to him let's just get to oh my god is your favorite drink red wine stop soft shadow over 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 Nalino. Holy cannoli. That's your favorite drink, Zoe? She's so classy. I love that for her. Okay, she downed that drink. All right. Um, introduce yourself to him. Hi, I'm Zoe. Nice to meet you, Zoe. Innocent personality. Okay, love that for him. Uh, oh my god, they're already... Whoa, they're already hugging. All right. Um... Let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do? I kind of want to see, like, ask about career. I kind of want to see what she does with him, like, on her own without, like, pushing it too much, you know? Cleaner at Hamburger Man. Okay, so he's still working on himself, which is fine. Discuss interests. I really want to know everything about this man, you know? Show off muscles? Oh, no. I wish you could be, like, I wish that you could ask someone to be your New Year's kiss, you know? But I bet we could, like, line it up. Oh, 
Oh, did I tell them? I think I did. Cheers. Happy New Year's. Oh, hi, Caleb. Does she seem like she's having a good time? Look at her. Everyone's just watching the TV. I mean, like, it's cool and everything, but who's this and why are you naked? Maya Ferguson, you're, you're, you're a celebrity and you're basically naked. Let me uh, put you in an outfit. <laughs> oh, look who's here, Dorian. Dorian's ghost. No, not the dreaded pop-up. It's almost Charlie's time. Make the most of these final days. I refuse. I refuse to hear it. Please. Leave me, leave me alone. Oh, it's time to shishubi! Shishubi! Happy New Year! Oh, what are you guys off to do? Oh, Happy New Year, sis! Oh my gosh. Okay, I want my New Year's kiss. Where did he go? Oh, here he is. He's upstairs dancing with Lilith. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's see. It's very off time, but let's attempt mistletoe kiss because they'll kiss and it doesn't even count as a first kiss. So I don't have to like have any romance with him. Let's see if he'll take it. Oh God, I'm missing it. Oh, happy New Year. Oh my God. Again, I didn't even tell her to do this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How cute are they? What the heck? No, go away. Can't you see we're like trying to do? Oh my God. He just blew her off. Oh, oh okay. Now they're cheersing. Move. Okay. Do we know any of his traits? I know that my my thingies are being weird, so I don't even uh, know if it's gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna pop up. Okay. Is there anyone else here? Aww, Ke Ke oh, Kian. It seems like she's having a good time. I'm happy for her. Let's see if he has any kids. Uh, I don't have kids. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Ambitious. Okay, that's a good trait. Okay, I'm liking him so far, you guys. But I think we should go home for now. I don't want to waste too much time at this club because Charlie's last hours are very precious, and I would like to, you know, spend them with him. <laughs> so let's head home. I think she had a good New Year's. She had a bunch of drinks. She had a New Year's kiss. She met someone very cute. I'm happy for her. I'm so happy for her. I can't wait to learn the rest of his traits. I think. Hmm. Should we go on a, a brunch date with him? Should we? I don't want to get too ahead of myself and say that he's endgame. I do want Zoe to go on like multiple dates because like she could meet someone when she gets her job too. I really, I'm really like excited to see who her coworkers are. <gasps> they can be like a scientist couple. Oh, that would be really cute. I'm so excited for Zoe's life, you guys. I'm just very, very stoked. I wonder if I have to graduate Alice manually. I wish there was a way I could check like what's, what term she's in. Okay, welcome home, my love. You are still in a very good mood. So why don't you go ahead and use the bathroom and then when do you have class next? Cha cha cha. It looks like all she has to do is um, do her homework for practical electromagnetism and then take her final exams. That's all she's got to do. So that's fair. That's easy. Charlie, what are you up to, sir? You're going to go play with the dolls? Okay, are we working on any skills for you? No, I think you're just like vibing, just living out the rest of your days. Let me go ahead and clean out your inventory because I'm a little bit scared. I'm going to give everything to Zoe. Oh, you know what we could do, which I completely forget about playing this freaking Let's Play? In Eco Lifestyle, it came with these cardboard boxes that you can use as like storage. So let me grab one of those and just shove everything in the box. <laughs> Let's get the one with the house on it because it can be like just like a little storage box. Where do I want to put it? Maybe up here just for now. All right, a nice and clean inventory. Love to see it. Okay, 
So, Ren, 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 Ren. I need you to keep working on your painting skill. Go ahead and sell that that painting. It's beautiful, but I need you to sell it so that you can do another one. Do a large pop art painting. Stella, you taking care of the babies or attempting to? My Sims are doing this thing again where all they want to do is swing. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess Charlie wants to spend his last day swinging. You do that, sir. You do it. All right. So, Ren, what are you doing down here? I told you to go paint. Oh, you did paint. Okay. Well, come over here and sell it. Do you want an another large painting? Leslie, where are you going? What are you doing? More Margaret. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, shoot, she's so late. Why didn't you go to work? Go to work! You, come downstairs, play some games. Yes! Painting level 10! Ren is now a master artist. She can also mentor other sims in painting. <gasps> very, very, very good, my love. Let's let's get you to do some, have some uh, plasma, and let's do some dark meditation. And then, what skill do we want to do next? Writing? Writing it is. Writing it is. Okay. Charlie's going to swing again. Oh my god. Can you, uh... Hey, Charlie, it's Bruce. Do you want to hang out tonight? At a nightclub? Son, I am an old man. I'm on my last leg. I can't be going to a nightclub. <gasps> Two clients come in and ask Stella for a large order of arrangements for a birthday party, but can't agree on what color to make them. After almost an hour of fighting, the client demands Stella settle the argument by choosing pink or blue for the arrangements. What does Stella do? Choose a side or pick a color? Hmm. Or, no, choose a side and pick a color or combine the color scheme to please both clients. Combine color scheme? Yeah. I, yeah, it seems like that's the obvious choice, right? Oh my god, he's going to swing again. Can you come take care of this baby, please? Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Leslie's video gaming. Ren, you can stop painting now. Do your dark meditation. Yes, she did it! Leslie did it! Oh my god! Okay, so now we can move her out to... Uh, so I would really like her to join Bruce's household, I think. We don't really need to move her out just yet, but we don't need to worry about her maxing a skill anymore. So she maxed video gaming. Okay, well that's good enough. Usually every kid maxes at least one skill to contribute to the legacy challenge a little bit. Um, Stella, I'm gonna need you to promote restock sale, increases work performance. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my God, Charlie is on the swing again and he wants to go play with the dolls. Honey. There's babies in here that need assisting. I'm gonna get Zoe to come down here and study for the classes that she has finals in. So, um, electromagnetism. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Coursework, study, study for practical electromagnetism. Okay. All of the babies are sad. Oh my goodness. Charlie, help! When do the babies age up? Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, whose birthday is it? Oh, okay, so we can age up Bailey and Bellamy and freaking Marnie today. Oh, okay, that's very exciting. I'm craving something sweet. Okay, you're at work. Take, take care of that. <laughs> silly, silly. All right, so Charlie, can you please age up Bailey? And then age up Bellamy as well. The less babies that we have, the better, to be honest. Ooh, look, he's excited. He's excited for them to age up. I'm excited too, Charles. Oh my gosh. <gasps> hey, baby! Hey, new baby! <gasps> look at the way he's looking at uh, him. Right, they're two baby boys. Oh my gosh. Cute. Cute! <laughs> okay, Bailey is going to be inquisitive. Very good. <laughs> An inquisitive bean. It's almost Rosie's birthday as well. Ooh, when is your birthday? Tomorrow? Yes! One more day. One more freaking day of this. <gasps> A baby! Oh my god! Oops. I didn't mean to click travel. Why do I do this? Okay, here's the next one. Of course, Ren is in the way. All right. So this is going to be Bellamy. Bellamy's going to be a clingy baby. Fair enough. Okay. So let's go ahead and hop into Cass and give them their makeovers. 
I'm so excited for this, you guys. I'm gonna do Bailey first, and then I need to remember to change Georgie's name to Bellamy, and I think I think I might use Georgie for Stella's son's name. Yeah. Hi, sweet bean! Oh my god, look at this. Look! <laughs> oh my god. That is so cute. I forgot to turn on cast full edit, so let me do that and then I'll hop back into the... Into chaos. All right, you guys, so here is Bellamy. It's not letting me change his name for some reason, but I think I can do it through MC Command Center. He's such a cute little bean, isn't he? I'm so excited. I'm so excited for these twins. I can't believe this is the first set of twins that we've had in Legacy so far. That's wild. Freaking five generations and only one set of twins. What's up with that? I see a lot of Felix in him. Like, I can already tell he's gonna have a little hamburger head. <laughs> so many hamburger heads in this family. All right, you guys, here he is, bean number one. This is Bellamy. Oh, you guys, look, he's so cute. I love this cow print track jacket. It's so freaking cute. Okay, so he has a cow print onesie for his uh, sl his sleep. Hey, this is his swimwear. I didn't give him any formal or party wear outfits yet. I'll just wait until we have a party because um, we may or may not see them. Here's his hot weather and here's his little cold weather outfit too. I love these pants. Oh my god, just look at him, you guys. Look at him. He makes me want to cry. <laughs> Okay, this is Bailey. Stop flailing, please. All right, let's see if you guys are identical, little identical babes. Let me just get off all this nonsense. Hold on, take that off. They don't look identical. Oh my gosh, she aged up blonde. Would that be weird if one of them had blonde hair and one of them had brown hair? Since this is our first set of twins, I kind of want them to look a bit similar like with the hair and everything i wonder though i wonder if if like twins would have different hair colors i don't really know that much about twins well google says if they're fraternal twins they share about 50 percent of their dna they may look nothing alike including having different eye color and hair color so we totally can this bean has no freckles or moles whatsoever too which I think is interesting because uh, Bellamy had a bunch. All right, you guys, here is baby Bellamy Bean. Baby Bean Bellamy. <laughs> uh, I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. Every day, here's this little sleepy. I put him in the, the tiger onesie. Um, here's his hot weather and here's his cold weather. I think, did I do swimmer? No, I didn't. Uh, let's do... Let's do this little, this little, uh, wetsuit. Oh, oh, I'm so excited about them. I'm so freaking excited. This is a, this is a monumental day. The iconic first twins of the Legacy Challenge. I wonder, should they be the kind of twins that grow up doing everything together and are pretty much like attached at the hip? Or should they be the kind of twins that are like complete opposites and just like have their own lives? You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what you think. I just realized I'm not paying attention to the toddler skills like at all. Oh shoot. Oh, welcome back from work, Stella. Holy cannoli, she's doing really good at her skills. She's almost maxed them all. What the heck? She's doing pretty good too. Okay, just kidding. I guess I have been uh, monitoring their skills, which is awesome. So just she just needs a little bit of thinking. If she would have, she's gonna have maxed every single skill. That's insane. Okay. Um, want to go over to her house and hang out? Um. I mean, I guess we could. We're not really doing anything. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. Zoe needs a best friend as well. I was kind of hoping that she would meet someone at school or at work, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what this lady's all about. I remember the first time we saw her in the magical realm, I was like, whoa, who is that? She is so pretty and so cool looking. Like, I'm very interested. Okay, so what do we got here? <laughs> Got a couple of sims. Oh shoot, it's no skill day. I need to be... 
enthused about magic. I need to be like doing that. Hey, oh, it's Marty's birthday too. Shoot. It looks like she had her baby because the last time we saw her, she was pregnant. So where's the child? Oh, <gasps> yes, she has a spellcaster baby. Ooh, um, let's cuddle it. Let's see what its name is. I wonder if this is the baby's dad. Jody Foreigner, Ashley Foreigner, Elizabeth Foreigner. I'm so interested in how this family is. Like, are they all brother and sister? Or what's going on here? She's like, who are you? I don't know you. Cliff. Okay, it's a boy. Hmm. Mean and self-absorbed. Okay. Uh, let's. She's hitting the stuffed animal, and her baby's about to be taken away. I don't know, man. I don't know if we want her in our life. But let's like try to learn her last trait. Maybe it's a good one. Glutton. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with being a glutton. I feel like I kind of am because I absolutely love eating, and even if I'm not hungry. Uh, but she doesn't have a single positive trait. She has layers, you guys. Offer gratitude to her. Like I don't know, is she gonna be mean to us? Oh, Rishi. Or talk about recent meal we seem to be getting along very well with her so i don't know potential bestie let me let me know what you guys think because those traits those traits i don't know if we'll regret like becoming close with her but i kind of, I, at the same time i kind of like it not all sims are gonna be amazing you know what i mean so we're gonna go back to the house, make a cake for Marnie, age her up, give her her makeover, and then what? I don't know, I guess just keep working on skills? I don't know, I don't know. I kinda wanna go on a date with that Lamar guy again. I just wanna see how well they get on, you know? Cause uh, a lot of the times the Sims will tell you, like, okay, so you remember when we went on that date with R? <laughs> and it just wasn't going very well, like they didn't wanna sit together. And when they did, like, the conversation was just kind of meh. Wait a minute, is it the first day of summer? Oh, yeah, it's the first day of spring. Okay, and the snow already melted. Well, cool. That was fast. Let's, uh, let's introduce ourselves. Brighton day. Hi, Bailey, my little brother. Little baby brother. Hello. Marnie, did you, did you max that, max that thinking skill? Oh, my God. Look at this little thing. I'm obsessed. What the heck? Too cute for his own good. Too freaking cute. Okay, let's see. Did you max it? Ugh. Well, I guess watching him would have helped your thinking skills. So yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, Charlie, can you come over here to the kitchen and make your daughter a cake for her birthday? Aww, cute. What a good mama. Oh my God. She's so cute in her work outfit and everything. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. So Ren's writing, or uh, writing, working on her writing. Um, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? Where are you? Oh my God, you're just not taking care of yourself out here. Okay, let's have one of our potions and plentiful needs. Let's, hmm, maybe we should go study. Shoot, Ren's on the computer. Oh my God, you little bung. She took a piece of the cake. Oh, that was your birthday freaking cake, you silly bean. Oh my God, is there a cake already made in here? Cause uh, I wish we could put candles on taco casserole. <laughs> All right, well, Charlie, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to make another one because she ruined it. Oh my God, Ren is already writing level five. That is stupid fast, what the heck? You know, this would be a good time for Stella to work on her gardening skill as well. So why don't you come out here and like harvest all? Ew, there's a stanky, uh, a stanky flower arrangement out here. All right, so help blow out candles. Miss Marnie, writing level seven, insane. New skill day is where it's at, y'all. <laughs> Celebrate good times. Come on. Happy birthday, Miss Marns. Happy birthday, little baby. Okay. You can put her down now. He's like, no. I want her to stay my little baby toddler forever. Put her down. Charlie. Oh, my God. Put her down, mate. <gasps> okay. 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 Okay, 
Let me, um, let me get my legacy thing out. Here we go. Cheerful, geek, and lazy for Charlie. Clumsy, creative, and loves outdoors for Stella. <sighs> Here we go. Let's see what Marnie's childhood is going to be. Artistic prodigy and loves outdoors. Okay, okay. I'm happy with that. All right. And she loves the outdoors. That is so cute. All right. Hello, my baby. Hello, Miss Morning. So many gifts in the mail for you as well. Okay, let's head into cast again. <laughs> and give you your child makeover. So I was thinking that Marnie could be our uh, our trans babe because I was trying to decide who I wanted and I think Marnie would be a good fit for it. Look at her. Look at her. So excited for this sim. All right, you guys, here is Miss Marnie. She is the cutest little baby ever. I'm so obsessed with her. I'm so obsessed with this outfit too. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just so excited about all of our kids. So here's her active wear. Here is her sleep. Um, I did I did do a party. Okay, here's her party wear. Here's her swim. Here's her hot weather and her cold weather. Okay, all right. Let's get back into some gameplay. This iPad is a whole mess. Like I have everyone's names written and then I have all of the skills that they maxed and it's just like a big scribbly mess i need to like redo it <laughs> i'm really 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 excited about marnie's marnie's like story and character because she's a spellcaster. so i don't know i just feel like we could do so much so much cool stuff with her um okay so uh the baby the baby needs something oh it looks like charlie's on it good boy all right the baby's fine now Stella is still out here gardening because she needs to get that level eight. So I'm going to like get her to keep doing that. Uh, let's see. I can't believe Charlie has never had a job in his life. <laughs> so crazy. Who's this? Max. Oh my gosh. Ren. Can you come hug your brother? What'd you get? Riding. What's riding? What's your riding at? Level eight. That's so insane. That was so unbelievably fast, but good for her. Oh, you're going to hug your brother in the bathroom. What's going on? Come on, come say hi to him. Hi, Max. Thank you for visiting us. Gosh, I miss Max so much. Cute. We're gonna have to do another makeover in this episode because we're gonna age up uh, Rocio as well. It's actually, I think it's her their birthday today. It is, so we could totally age them up if we wanted to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get Stella to do it. So many birthdays, you guys. Holy cannoli. Eee! <gasps> oh my gosh. 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 Okay, let's see. Green eyes light brown hair and green eyebrows love to see it okay rocio you are going to be a charmer <laughs> love that for you okay i don't even know if you're i still don't know if you're a boy or a girl but let's go ahead and hop into cast and give them their makeover really quick oh my gosh i can't believe how many freaking kids these these two have it's honestly insane Imagine having that many brothers and sisters. If you have like five or more brothers brothers or sisters, let me know in the comments below and how that is. It must be so like a, a madhouse in your house. Okay, I can't, I still can't tell. I, I still can't tell. Um, oh, you're a girl. Okay, okay, because it's giving you the feminine filter. All right. Little baby Rocio, our, our little girl. All right, let's see. Okay, guys, I'm all done. She's so cute. Ugh. Ay -ay -ay. I love her so much, holy crap. Here's her sleepwear. Here's her swim. Oh shoot, she needs her little brown tips, hold on. All right, here's her swimwear. Here's her hot weather outfit and her cold weather. I love this little onesie from Snowy Escape. I hope that you guys like her, Miss Rocio. Okie dokie. So we currently have four toddlers, one child, one teen. That is, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot to handle. So I don't think I'm going to be working on their skills at all. Uh, oh, Leslie's going through a loud phase. Fair enough. Okay. 
Uh, so, Ren, I'm going to need you to keep working on your writing, please. And then uh, let's write a book. Let's write a fantasy book. Uh, do you have school today, Zoe? Because we really need to, like, remember. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, so let's get you off the swings. Let's get you over here and uh, study a little bit before. <gasps> oh, Stella is flourishing as much as her crop of germinating plant friends. Is this building emotion a sign she likes gardening? Absolutely. freaking lutely Yay, good job, Ren. You wrote a book. Let's uh, sell it to a publisher. Okay, no, 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 no. Go here. I need you to be on time for class. Go, go to class. Go to class. Go to class. I'm so nervous for you, but you got this. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right, attend class normally. Okay. She's got this. She's got this. I know that she's got this. Aww, cute. My heart, my soul. All right, let's see. Dignity and decorum or regency of the, residency of the heart. Let's see residency of the heart. Georgie's hungry. Poor Georgie. Oh shoot, we forgot to change his name. Can I do that through MC Command Center? Rename, here we go. Bellamy. This cake is not be the thing that everyone eats. Holy cow, we have so much food in here. Uh, let's bring out the cha cha cha. Hmm. Let's bring out the taco casserole. Um, uh, pamper myself. That's kind of weird that Kay is inviting Charlie out to pamper. <laughs> but speaking of them, I shoot. Should I wait for, until Zoe gets back to make sure that she attends the other her other final? Yeah, we should probably wait. Well, once that happens, we can uh, go over to Felix's house because I'm dying to meet to see his babies. Hmm, Lilith is wondering if we want to go to her house and hang out. No, because I have things to do. I need to like be here. You've got quite the personality. Culinary career? Interesting. I would, but we kind of have our dream job right now. All right, good stuff, Zoe, good stuff. Okay, let's get you to, when do you have your next class? Three hours. Okay, can you study a little bit for the other one? Oh yeah, and it's freaking uh, egg day. Okay, let's get the babies to like hunt for eggs in a couple of places. Not bills, 20,000. Ay, 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 okay. Yay, get all the eggs, babies. Go, 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 get the eggs, get the eggs. Who's gonna find the golden one? Who's gonna get the golden egg? Find me some rare ones, would ya? Aw, what a bunch of cuties. Come on, Bailey, come get some eggs. <laughs> they are so freaking cute. Oh. All right, Zoe. You're studying, right? All right, go to class. Go. You're feeling fearless. You got this. Aww. A little story story time outside. That is so cute. Why is Charlie just like the best dad ever? I don't understand. Cribbix Khalifa, fourth Subo. Birosh Squonk Roll. Zoe did it. She is done with her term. Whoa, who are you getting romantic with? Just what the? With Patchy? Oh God. She just almost tried for baby with Patchy. Ay caramba, now what are you off to do? Okay, yeah, you do that. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Well, let's go celebrate and ask that one guy on a date. Let's see. Thank you, Patchy, for fixing that, by the way. Let's pay the bills. And then ask on date. Oh my gosh, look at these two in here. Oh, these three, I mean. Oh my god, they're so cute. What are they listening to? Summer strut, let's go. Okie dokie, where do we want to go? Let's go to a restaurant. This is a family restaurant. Oh, I know that I place plenty of those. I just... Ooh, ooh, should we go to the one in Strangerville? Outdoor restaurant, romantic or a party place in sunny aspect. Perfecto. 
I'm so excited to see how this date goes, you guys. I'm so stoked. Every time I play Legacy, it always takes me so long to film because the loading screens take forever. Every time I do anything, like go in and out of cast, travel, build, go into build mode. I don't know. My game used to run smooth, but it no longer does. I think I like passed the limit, my CC limit. Okay. Oh, you're in your cute little. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's. Um. Oh my God. First kiss. No. Let's just tell him a dramatic story. Let me have a look at you, sir. Look at me. You guys. He's really, 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 really cute. I think that he, he has some good genes that I would like to have in the legacy family. Like, look at that jawline. Oh my god, you guys! Straight A pluses. Holy crap, and look, that boosted our GPA to a B. <gasps> I am so proud of her. Look at her go. Holy cannoli. We're definitely celebrating tonight. Yes, let's sign up for another term. Um... We only need two more classes, so let's just get them done. Particle parts and advanced string theory. Okay, okay. Um, at home. Cool, we don't, we don't have to pay for anything. It's beautiful. Okay, two more classes and then we will graduate. Family oriented, <laughs> ambitious and family oriented. Are you kidding me right now? Is there anything ah, wrong with this man? Up. Express admiration. Yeah. Ophelia's texting us. I heard you and Lamar are good friends now. Stop. Toddlers don't text. Or do they? All right, well, let's go ahead and grab a table. Which table do we want? This outfit, this outfit, this restaurant is so cute. What the heck? Right this way. Here is your table. Enjoy your meal. Where is she going to sit? Is she going to sit next to him or across from him? Right next to him. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's order for table. I don't know. Do we want to drink today? Lemonade sounds good. So I'm going to get lemonade for them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Garlic noodles is probably not a good option. Steak? Salmon? Let's get the salmon for, for Zoe. And let's get the steak for Lamar. And oh my God. A chocolate souffle. Yes, please. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's see how they get on, shall we? Did he just compliment us? <gasps> she just flirted with him without me telling her to do that. Okay, let's just watch them and see what happens, okay? Let's just watch. They're both, he's feeling passionate and she's feeling flirty, so that's a good sign. Complain about egg day? Why are you complaining? She's like, I have so many siblings and all they wanna do is egg hunt. I'm so glad that I got to get out of the house. I wonder if he has any siblings. They are talking a lot, which is a good sign. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Oh my gosh. Well, my family is huge, so that's just something that you're gonna have to get used to. <laughs> Do we know all his traits yet? No, we don't. Okay, let's learn that last one. She has a really high voice. Yay, our food! Geek! Oh god, a man after our own heart. What the heck? Where are you going? What? Why do we get our chocolate souffles first? I'm confused. Oh God, there's a celebrity over there hyping everyone up, that's why. Sit down, eat your souffle. Eat your souffle and have your lemonade. I, I don't know where our salmon is. Did he see someone he knew over here? Is that why he like, is over here? Is he talking, why is he talking about being non-committal? What is happening right now? Eat your souffle, babe, eat it. Did we just get like ignored and abandoned? What is happening right now? Okay, I guess he just must have saw a friend and he went to go say hi. His traits are so good. Like, ambitious, family oriented, and geek. He's just a fast food employee, so I kind of maybe like if he does join our family, I'm definitely gonna get him like a better. a better uh, career. Let's have our first kiss. She seems to really like him. I mean, how could you not? With those traits and that jawline, and he's just so cute, and I'm just like, this is too good to be true. 
They already kissed technically on New Year's, but I guess it doesn't count. Let's, should we ask him about our relationship or is that like being too thirsty? Oh God, Charlie's life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get his affairs in order. Stop. Date complete, gold medal earned. Let's go. Let's just take that souffle home. All right, let's go home. I feel like that was a good date. We learned all of his traits and everything and A plus. A, 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 plus, 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 just like our grades. <laughs> Welcome home. She is straight buzzing from that date, getting straight A's. I'm so proud of her. Oh my God, they're gonna go woohoo one last time. In the rocket ship? I guess that's a, that's a good way to say bye. That was completely 100% autonomous. I kind of love that for them. I just hope he doesn't die early. <laughs> <gasps> oh god. Okay, go back. Oh my gosh. I'm just like watching Charlie, watching every little thing he does. Oh gosh. What is this kid doing? Why is he doing yoga outside of our house? What the? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. He's swinging. <sighs> Spending the last months doing some childish things, swinging, um, playing dolls. So silly. Yeah, she's using the yoga room. Love to see it. She's so cool. I heard it was someone's birthday today. Is it someone's birthday? It's not someone's birthday, that's tomorrow. And who are you? Oh, Luna. <laughs> Hi, Bean. Oh my gosh, Felix is here too. Let's go ahead and give Luna a hug as well. I feel like maybe he might have like some kind of like cancer or something like that and everyone just knows that he's dying. So they're all <laughs> coming over and saying hi and hugging him and stuff. Oh good, Ren went to her, her audition. Thank goodness. Yes, Ren, audition passed. Not that I ever doubted you, but GG, congratulations. Uh, Leslie has her turn. Um, she's one of the top students at Buckingham High. Can I get a round of applause for Leslie, please? <laughs> Such a good bean. She's feeling tense from school though. All right, Zoe's finished with her paper. Uh, let's go ahead and invite over Lamar and see how he, see how he handles all the baby, all, all the little babies running around, and maybe like we can introduce him to our parents as well. I'm not gonna ask him to be our boyfriend just yet because uh, Zoe still has a lot of life ahead of her. But I really do like Lamar, like his traits. They're so good. Oh my gosh. I wish the photo would load. This is Kiyoshi. Yeah, oh my God. I hope I'm not reaching, but I feel like there's something between us that we need to explore. I'm really to risk it all for you and was wondering if you feel the same way. That's right, we met him at the bar in the last episode <gasps> and that's when i said that we had never gotten together with like an npc or like a townie but then you guys were saying in the comments that orange was is an npc townie dang i want to keep him as an option so i'm gonna say i feel the same so how did that affect our relationship okay so we have a little bit of romance now who the heck are you hugging you're just hugging the air okay fair all right, hi, hello, it's good to see you. Georgie, you need a bath so bad, oh my gosh, okay. All right, Charlie, why don't you come over here and uh, just give him a friendly introduction. Oh God, Zoe's talking to Patchy again? Stop, stop doing that. No, come over here, please. I don't trust you with him. Hello, I'm Charlie. Charlie? Nice to meet you. So you you like my daughter, huh? Let's just discuss interests. Uh oh, Charlie is turning on the weirdness. <laughs> just keeping friendly. Practice fighting? What? <laughs> Why aren't you laughing with our dad? <laughs> really, you're just gonna walk away? He doesn't find Charlie amusing at all. He's like very sus about him for some reason. I don't know, maybe he's just trying to come off as like super mature. 
I don't know, but Charlie's what? so not like that. that Charlie is silly. <laughs> okay, there he goes. He's warming up to him now. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, they're hugging. Oh my god. Okay, this is all autonomous. Oh. Oh, yes, with the hand buzzer. Love to see it. Oh, he's leaving. All right. Thanks for coming over and meeting my dad. I appreciate you. Let's see. How do, how is their relationship? It's really good. Okay. Um, you got a sentiment, but my game is broken, so I can't see it. Oh, Stella maxed her parenting skill. Let's go, Stella. Let's go. <laughs> well, you guys, Charlie does not want to die. I feel like I've been sitting here for so long, kind of just like waiting for it to happen. Um, so I guess we're going to save it for the next episode because, yeah, he's just he's just refusing, refusing to pass away. <laughs> so in the next one, we are going to age up Ophelia. Charlie will probably pass like pretty early in the episode, so we'll um, have his funeral because I know how to give eulogies now in The Sims, which is pretty cool. And then we're going to move out Stella and all of the babies and um, yeah, get to work on Zoe's story. So please let me know in the comments what you think of Lamar and also let me know what you think of uh, Kiyoshi being an option. Um, so it's between Kiyoshi and Lamar. Um, just let me know in the comments what you think. I would really like to max Stella's gardening and cooking skill as well before she leaves. So I'll probably work on that a little bit too. Also, let me know what you think of all the baby toddlers. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just very excited to get into to Zoe's story. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching this video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.